Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. This is episode 41 of Lightroom Quick Tips. In this episode, I'm going to offer you some tips on finding missing images. Now this happens a lot. I get these emails a lot. Well, people email and say that Lightroom can't find their image for whatever reason. And I suppose it could happen now and then by an error in Lightroom's catalog or something like that. But how it usually happens is you have Lightroom closed and you decide to do some house cleaning and you're using either Windows Explorer or Mac Finder and you're creating new folders and moving folders around and moving images from folder to folder. Well, whenever you do any of that moving and creating and deleting, Lightroom doesn't know you did it. So when you open up Lightroom, you'll get this. Over on the left, in the Folders tab of the Library module, any folder that is missing will have a question mark next to it. If you look at Grid View on the images, the images themselves will have an exclamation point next to them in the corner here. That means Lightroom can't find the image. If you wanted to edit this image and you went to the develop module, what you'll find is this error, this file could not be found and all the controls will be grayed out. You won't be able to move any of the sliders. So we have to update the location of these files from within Lightroom so Lightroom knows where to find them. And to do that, what I suggest you do is if you're not sure where they are, is keep Lightroom closed and using either Windows Explorer or Mac Finder, find those files, find those folders and make note of where they are. Now, hopefully you didn't accidentally delete, it, delete them. If you deleted them and didn't back them up, you're in deep doo-doo. So I hope you didn't do that. Hopefully you just moved them and you could find them again. Once you find them, open up Lightroom what you want to do is go to the library module, left panel, folders tab. You want to go to the root folder. That is the folder that is highest up in the hierarchy that contains all the other folders. In this case, it's this Lightroom images folder for me. Yours is probably named something else. So I'm going to click on that. Then what you want to do is you want to right click on it and you want to go down to update folder location. When I do that, because I have a Mac, Mac Finder opens up. Again, if you have a PC running Windows, Windows Explorer will open up for you. And all you have to do now is navigate to the location of these folders. I put them in my pictures folder, in the subfolder, new location for Lightroom images. I was real witty about it, right? All right, so there, I have at least two of the folders there. Okay, so we're going to highlight new location for Lightroom images and I'm going to uh, click choose and what you'll see is the root folder now is that folder new location for Lightroom images and when I open it up Akron Falls is there and all those images are there you can see there's no exclamation points Barcelona Ho Harbor is there and all those images are there but we're still missing beach all right, I moved Beach somewhere else. I moved it to the desktop. It's right there. So what we're going to do for that is we're going to click on that missing folder. In this case, it's Beach, and we're going to right click on it. And now this is a little different because it's not a root folder. We're going to find missing folder. So we're just going to click there. And again, I put that on my desktop. It is right there. So I'm going to click choose. Now, Notice that it's not in the location. It's not under that root folder because it's on my desktop, so it's separate. But it's there. We found it now. We have the images except for one. We're missing one image. Now I'm going to show you how to find that image in a second. Now, the way you should, if possible, move stuff around in Lightroom is do it right in Lightroom. For example, we have this beach folder and it's outside of our main parent folder. We want it inside of that folder. All you really have to do is go over here in the library module, left-hand panel, highlight the folder you want to move, and simply drag it to the location you want it. When you do that, 
Lightroom is actually going to be moving the entire folder from the drive to the new location. Now remember, I had that on my desktop. It's not there anymore. It was moved. Lightroom moved that folder and moved all the images with it. Now we're still missing this one image. If you're missing an image or two, but the folder's still intact, and you do maybe have some images still in that folder, you're still going to have to go into Windows Explorer or Mac Finder and find the image. Find wherever it is. Now, I wish I could tell you you could right-click on the image and there'd be a choice here to locate the image, but there isn't. What you have to do is close Lightroom down. Now, search for the image. I'm pretending I'm using this Mac Finder here and I'm going to pictures and I go oh, look this temp image folder maybe it's in there and there it is right there and you can see this nep file is it and it has this sidecar XMP file if you don't know what that is watch episode 40 of Lightroom quick tips I talk about that so what we want to do is we want to move these to the beach folder now to make it easy I think I'm just going to open a new finder window so uh, that will just make it a little more I guess easy for you to see what I'm doing. So we're going to go to pictures and we're going to go to a uh, new location for Lightroom images. We're going to open up the beach folder right there. And we're just going to drag these two images into the beach folder. All right. Now, when I open up um, Lightroom, you should see that one image should not have an exclamation point next to it any longer because it's found. So that's how you would um, find a missing image. You have to do that outside of Lightroom. Now, if you want to move some images around from folder to folder or create a new folder, well, let's just say I want to move these first three images into the Barcelona Harbor folder. And the Barcelona Harbor folder actually has a subfolder. So I want to move it into that subfolder. So, well, what you need to do is in the film strip, you could you can't do it up here. I mean, you could select them up here. So we're going to select the first three. We're going to click on the first one, hold the shift key down, and click on the third one. But you have to drag them from the film strip down here at the bottom. So we're actually going to drag the images up to 12, 10, 12, 20, 13. And now it actually moved the images from that beach folder to this 10, 12, 20, 13 folder that's inside Barcelona Harbor. It actually moved them on my hard drive. So those images are moved. Now, if you want to move, like you could create folders. So just right click here and you could uh, create folder inside of Beach. So let's just call this um, 2015, just for the sake of argument, 09-23, uh, all right? So we're going to create. Now, inside of Beach, we created this folder. And, oh, I had, uh, you might have saw, I'm going to show you that again. I'm going to right click. I'm going to um, create folder inside of Beach. I had this checked, include selected photos. So it actually moved the, fold, the photo, photo that I had selected. Uh, you could do that. That would save you a little time. But um, in this case, maybe I just want to move these Beach images back. So we're going to select those beach images, then from the film strip, drag them into that subfolder. So now they're there. So that's how you should really move stuff around. Try to do it inside a Lightroom, not outside a Lightroom. But if you come up with stuff missing, find it, then go into Lightroom like I showed you and update the folder location and the image locations that way. So I hope that helps. I get this email a lot, and to tell you the truth, it's very difficult me, difficult for me to explain this in an email and explain to people how to find their images. Because quite frankly, I don't know what they did. Uh, sometimes they delete them, and they accidentally deleted their image, and then there's nothing you could do if you don't have a backup. So back up your images. Don't delete them unless you're absolutely positively sure they're garbage. And if you do delete them, delete them from within uh, Lightroom. So if I want to delete this image right here, I could just right click on it and I go to remove photo. And when that comes up, we have two, cho well, three choices technically. We could just remove the photo. 
It takes it out of Lightroom if you do that, but it leaves it on your hard drive. This first choice over here is Delete from Disk. That will take it out of Lightroom and delete it, and it's gone. Or we could just click Cancel, and that's what I'll do. All right, so um, that's how you probably should delete your images also. It's a little safer that way, let's say. All right, so hopefully that helps. Um, you know, I hope it doesn't. I hope you didn't lose any images, and I hope you could find them. All right, thank you, everyone that watches my videos. I truly do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.